Hi, my name is Ruth, and this is the five minute rule. The five minute rule is quite simple. Don't even five minutes obsessing about something that won't matter five years, five months, five weeks from now. Don't even spend even five minutes rumbling over a traffic jam. It doesn't matter. In the long run, always five minutes feeling insecure about someone said something about you. The only thing that really matters is what God says about you. You don't get angry for five minutes because you cannot find the remote or your cell phone. It will turn up. Don't lose your temper for five minutes while you don't get your way. That's when it's the best. In any way, don't spend five minutes panicking because your hair isn't cooperating today. It will look much better tomorrow. Can you get the point? The five-minute rule is all about keeping focus on spending your energy on things that really matter, but not throwing your life five minutes at a time instead asking God, to give you a healthy sense of perspective so you can love your life every single day. Place your trust in God. Psalms 37 verse 3 A better option spending five minutes thanking God for all his blessings. Take five minutes to help someone around you today. God go to go out and Spend five minutes in prayer. The next time you feel overwhelmed by the events of your day, call it and encourage a friend for five minutes. Declare promises from the Bible over your life for five minutes before you go to bed. It is all about perspective. In order to enjoy love, Jesus came to give you. It's wise to manage your socks with the same legends. What you manage your time, focus your thoughts and energy on the issues that really matter. Issues that will affect your life in the long run and long term. The five minute rule is quite simple. Don't even spend five minutes obsessing about something that doesn't matter from five years, five months, or five weeks from now. It will keep you busy, but you never get, get you. Anywhere you don't throw away your life for five minutes at a time, Instead, asking God to give you a healthy sense of perspective so you can enjoy your life every single day. Cherish, cherish your yesterdays, dream your tomorrow, and live your todays. Anonymous. I hope this is a blessing to you as it is for me. I hope you have a great day or evening. Bye.